Amjad Abu Yassin, born 1993, Ashati Camp. A day before the war, Gaza for me was joy and happiness, trips and going to the sea. Life seemed to be happy and I wasn't thinking about anything. I had one dream, that Gaza would develop in art and sports. I felt that everything was fine except these two things, but it turned out nothing was fine. No art, sports, health, or safety. It's all the same. Gaza stopped being the city of my dreams because my dream is to be an actor. Am I going to be an actor for 20 people in Gaza and wait till the border opens? If it was in my hands, I would try as much as possible to reduce wars, death, and violence. It's a shame for every drop of blood that falls on the ground. I hate the silence and the abnormal tolerance that people have. I wish all Gaza would wake up tomorrow and walk the streets shouting loudly, Enough! When the war started, we were playing football and the atmosphere was strange. The sky was red. Suddenly we heard the sound of a plane. I never heard a sound like that. We were all scared and lay on the ground waiting for death. After that, we heard the sound of a loud explosion meters away from us. We, were, we started looking in each other's faces and silently saying goodbye. Turned out the bombing wasn't meant for us. It was targeting a car of wanted man on the road above. But we kept lying down, waiting for the second rocket, and all I could think of was my two older brothers who were with me. I was more afraid for them than for myself, and I think they also felt the same way. I carried my sports shorts and ran away from the field. As I ran, I stepped on a piece of shrapnel. I took it out of my leg and went out onto the street and saw them. They were three martyrs and you couldn't make out their features. The first one's legs were on fire. He was looking at me and I at him. Among everyone there, he was warning me about something I didn't understand. It was then I knew he was warning me about a car coming fast towards us. Then I knew the real meaning of death, and instead of being three martyrs, it could have been four. I was shocked at the scene. I stood there watching, and when I woke up after passing out, I ran home. The war came and went, and we're still living it. The victims are always the poor people who have nothing to do with anything. Even when there's an earthquake or a flood in any country, the victims are the poor people as though there's a universal conspiracy against them. After the war, everyone started lying to everyone else. Lies, cheating, dishonesty, deceitfulness. For positions and interests, the leaders and powerful people commit slaughters and crimes without batting an eyelid or feeling any guilt. Poor people get poorer and sick ones sicker. I've lost trust in all mottos. The biggest speech from the biggest leader is bullshit. All speeches in the world don't warm up a cold person or someone sleeping in a tent after the war. The crisis is that the whole world is watching us as though there's nothing going on and they're still making speeches. <laughs>